Hi, and welcome to another tutorial about C Sharp and Visual Studio Express 2010. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the switch statement. I've already opened up Visual Studio. I'm going to start out by making a variable called my number, and it's of type integer. I'm going to be going to give it the value of four. Now first, let's explain what the switch function or fit switch statement does. The switch actually is a combined version of multiple if statements. So if you want to check if the value my number, if it's one, if it's two, if it's four, five, blah, 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 all the way to 500, then sometimes it's more useful to use the switch statement instead of writing out all of those with if statements and else if statements. And that is why we're going to type here switch and then we open up the parentheses and in between it we're gonna give it the number or uh, the variable that we want to check and in this case that is my number. Now this doesn't per se have to be an integer, this can also be text for instance. And then within the accolades um, you have to type case and that's our first answer that we want to check. And if our case is 1, and then we want a column, and then I want to say console right line, and I want to say hello. Immediately following after that I want to specify a break, because if the case is that our value is, is 1, then I want to print the line hello, and then I want to be done with this entire switch statement. I want to I want to go on. And then we have case number two. And I'm not just saying uh, this is case number two, but the value is that number two. That's what I'm saying here. So I could also say if the case is 66, comes all right line. I'm going to say goodbye. And once again, we top off with a break. One last thing that you can add an, to a switch is a so-called default. And that means you can, well, you can actually compare that with the else statement that comes with the if statements and the else if statements. If the first two cases, if these are not correct, if no match has been found, then the default case is actually being run but you do not per se need to add this to your code. Still, we've had, we have it here now, so might as well just type it. Say console read line. That happens a lot. Console read line. Really nice. I'm gonna say, okay, okay. It says the text OK. Now why is that? My number, the variable my number, has the value of 4. Here we say, is the value 1? Then print hello. Is it the value 66? Print goodbye. And if it's not those, well then print out the default switch statement and that is OK. However, let's change our my number to 66. Then in this case, the goodbye text is being printed out. And that actually concludes this tutorial about switch statements.